it's been a lot of fun trying to get everybody individually better and then trying to mesh the team together on a short period of time. But I think the guys have been working hard and uh, we're excited to get started. We've been doing a lot of, like, we did a lot of conditioning and doing a lot of breakdown plays so that we could get the plays down and just get the little things, you know, because everyone is talented in the team. It's just the little things that's going to separate us. Uh, I think it's been great. Um, everybody on the team, they want to work. So I just think that's the, the, the big part. Every, trying to get everybody to work hard and everybody want to work hard, so it's good. It's, it's going to help us in a big, get big way because now we know what, what we have to do, to, what it takes to get there. And now that you've been there, it's like, you're going to do anything possible to get back there, you know, because that feeling, that moment is it's just different. You know, that's what we play for, you know. So I feel like that experience, we just going to push everyone that hasn't been there. You know, it's a different level from regular season when it's playoffs. Everything is detailed. So we learned that while we was there. The guys that we had last year and the returners that played last year set a standard. And obviously, like Tyrone said, we don't want to um, go below the standard that we set. It's, you know, onwards and upwards. And, you know, we want to keep on that positive trajectory. So now it's just going to take uh, the same level of intensity that the guys attacked, attacked everything with last year. And these guys imparting some of the wisdom. And then, you know, them being in the system uh, for another year after going through it last year, that they can build on the, the successes that they had last year and take it to another level and then bring everybody else with them. So, um, so definitely I feel the experience of, uh, of last year is, uh, was a great foundation for the program. These two guys were a big part of that, the success that we had last year, as well as the other returners. So again, now it's just, you know, we laid a solid foundation and now we just want to keep layering bricks. Um, we got to stay hungry. We got to tell them to stay hungry, to be hungry, because like, you can't get too high when we win. You can't get too low when we lose. Everything got to be, you know, even, even killed at all times. You always got to be ready and always on to the next play. Never dwell on the past. If we do that and keep that same being poised, I feel like we should be fine. You know, it's hard to, to see them go, especially guys that are good players, but all, even all the seniors contributed in a way, a big way last year, regardless of how much they played. They all played a big role in how much success we had as a team and as a program. But now it's just about sending these seniors out with a great, um, a great last year um, here at QC. And then at the same time, um, working with the new guys and getting them acclimated to college basketball. So, you know, it's not it's not easy, but you know, but every season has its challenge. I'm definitely happy to be work, have some experience coming back from the guys that know what to expect from me, and they can impart that to the the younger guys. And I think they've been doing a good job of that, and um, you know, letting them know what college basketball is about. I feel like last year I was one of the leaders too. So I feel like this year it just gave me a bigger position to be more of a leader, to have my voice even more heard. They listen, like I said, everybody want to work, so it's not really hard to try to lead them. It's tough, you know, but it's it's fun at the same time because then you look back and you remember when you was a freshman. So all the mistakes they make, it's like, yeah, I've made those mistakes. So, you know, you know, try to help them be a coach, a coach on the court, you know. So it's always good to hear it from someone else than just your coach. I mean, it's huge. I mean, it- Experience always helps, um, you know, on any level of, uh, of athletics. So definitely experience is always an important thing. And you want to rely on your older guys to make sure that everybody is doing what they're supposed to do, that they're holding themselves accountable. The big word thing that we have been talking about this year has been consistency. And that's the word that the, um, the players kind of said is going to be the key one word that uh, is going to be really the focus of our season. And so it's about you know, making sure that we're doing the right things every day on and off the court and the details to make sure that we're preparing and getting better every day in a consistent manner because ultimately that's where, you know, our success will lie. They work hard and they're willing to learn. So that, that, that gave me a good impression. When I told they listen, uh, when the coaches talk, you know, they listen, they try to do it even though they mess up sometimes, but they they, they hard workers. For me, I feel like, that I'm, I'm learning just as much as them, so it's good for me to try to teach them. Because as me, as I'm teaching them, I'm learning too. So it's, it's making it easier for me to, to do it at the same time. But I think everybody is, is doing great. Uh, I, I mean, I agree with them. I think that the, they're hard workers. They try to listen. They want to get better. 
they're coming from different sets of experiences, different ways of coaching, different levels, different dynamics. You know, everything is different. So in total, it's nine new players. So, you know, you throw that in the mix with uh, six freshmen, you know, it's a big learning curve for everybody. But like I said, they've embraced it. They've, you know, they've been working hard. Well, it's, uh, it's pretty simple. It stands for work hard equals earn success. It was really just a mantra that I want the guys to keep in their head. And it's you know, kind of the words that I live by. And I hope that they can kind of not just see it from a basketball perspective, but also just in life in general, that you know, if you put, put the work in, then the results are going to be there for you. And it won't be just because someone gave it to you. It'll be because you earned it. Anything, anything that we do, we just keep working hard. We're gonna get what we, we're gonna get what we want. And that's with anything, with with school, with with life, with your career, anything. If if we just keep working hard, then that success is gonna come. You get in what you put out. You know, like you work hard at whatever you do. Good thing will happen. You know, you probably might not see it right away, but eventually, good things will happen. That doesn't mean it's like. I work hard today and tomorrow. It didn't happen for me, so I'm gonna stop. It don't works like that. You just gotta keep going, keep working hard. Eventually, something will change, and it will be in a positive of your side. So that's how I feel. That's how I attack it. I work hard every day. Everything I do, I work hard. I go after it to be successful. And then you feel good at the end of the day too, because now it's like no one gave it to me. I worked for it, so now I, I feel like I cherish it more.